Welcome back to Support Saturday. By the time you're watching this, Jeremy and myself are gonna be at National Corvette Museum for a car show. So if you happen to be out here, come out, say hi, check us out. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to bleed the brakes. We're gonna be talking about carbon fiber stuff for right-hand drive C8, tow hooks, uh, wheel spacers, tons of other stuff. So let's hop right into it. Barkley, you messaged us asking what carbon fiber parts we're gonna be making for the right-hand drive C8. Right now, we don't have a right-hand drive C8. I've asked the National Corvette Museum if we can get one. Unfortunately, I can't. Without having that car here, I can't verify what parts will and will not work. So as of right now, I am not making any parts for the right-hand drive C8 uh, key fob cover. That would work for you. I don't think they changed that. Ian, you asked us when we get our C8 Z06, what are gonna be the first three products that we work on? Right now, we have actually verified a lot of parts are going to transfer over from the Stingray to the Z06. Filter back to one of our old videos that we went out and actually were at a Z06 reveal here locally at Carl Chevrolet. We verified the key covers, the trunk struts, the taillight overlays. There's a ton of parts that already are going to transfer from the Stingray to the Z06. However, the first three products that we know we need to get working on immediately is going to be an aftermarket exhaust from Paragon, Paragon front and side inlet grill guards, as well as the... The third one that we're gonna be working on is lowering options. Totally different suspension with this car. We've had some information released by General Motors. We're pretty confident that Hyperco and us are gonna be working on some lowering springs immediately, get those out to you. Hyperco made some amazing springs for the C8. They've been a very popular item and we're really excited to see what we can do with that for the Z06. Scott, you emailed in asking, why do we run tow hooks on this car? Because they're ugly and it ruins the look of a Corvette. Well, Scott, if you've ever done spirited driving, you've done an autocross, you've gone to Road America, NCM, any other racing event, these are required. Very big deal. If you go off on the track, they need to get the track cleaned up as fast as possible. On the C8, if you go off on the side of the road, trying to get underneath of the car with a toe strap on a control arm is nearly gonna be impossible. These come in big handy. We've had a ton of customers that have emailed in that have had to use them. As much as you never want to use them, if you have them, you'll never need them. If you don't have them, you'll need them. So at the end of the day, it's personal preference. If you like them, great. They can be a great asset to the car in the event you ever need it. Martin, you asked us, how do you bleed the brakes on a C8 Corvette? Great question. It's not that big of a rocket science, but there is a few steps that you wanna take in precaution. You can do it the old fashioned way, pumping the pedal, bleeding the brakes. However, on this car, you have to disconnect the battery. If you're doing it the old fashioned way, you leave the battery connected, the car is gonna go into limp mode. You're not gonna be able to drive, I believe over 45 miles an hour. You're gonna have to go to your GM dealership for a relearn. The thing that we advise, if you're doing old fashioned way again, disconnect the battery, have a buddy help you, or use a pressurized system, a pump that you pump up and it pressurizes the system that will pump the fluid through the brake calipers. That's what we do here at the shop. We've done it more times than I can count. That's what we would advise. You can pick those up pretty cheap on Amazon, um, but overall, it's not rocket science. If it's something you are worried about, just go to your GM dealership. They'll do it for you. It'll be simple and easy. Dante, you asked a question that is very popular. We have gone into wheel spacers and aftermarket wheels quite a bit. To answer your question on if you have aftermarket wheels, do you run wheel spacers? The correct answer is with the proper set of wheels, you do not run wheel spacers. The offset is going to be correct for a flush fitment. Any of the wheels that we offer, like here behind me, the Apexes, the Vossens, the BBS, the Volk Racings, the Titans, all of those are going to be a proper offset for a flush fitment. So if you buy a wheel from us, you don't need aftermarket wheels. I can't speak if you buy somebody else's wheels that you may or may not need them. I have had a few customers that have had issues buying wheels from a different manufacturer that's not the proper offset and they wanted to add wheel spacers after the fact. Do your research, feel free to shoot me an email, call me, I'll help you out with that. But if you're looking at wheels on our website, the offset's gonna be correct, so you have nothing to worry about with that. With that, we're gonna wrap it up with a customer feedback. William, you emailed me and said, not a question, but wanna share my feedback. I wanna let you know that I bought the radiator guards for the two front radiators for my 2022 C8. We got back from almost a 5,000 mile trip from Iowa to California. Many large bugs were stopped by the grill guards, but none made it to the radiators. Great product. 
William, thank you very much for sharing that. There's a lot of controversy with guys if you run them, if you don't run them, if you're gonna run somebody else's or Paragons, there's so many options out there. At the end of the day, it's personal preference. Ours were the very first out there that was an OEM bolt-in style on the market. We sold tons of them, we've had great feedback from it. People love them, protect those AC condensers. Last thing you wanna do is be at a car show or try to resell the car and those condensers are all beat up. Thank you again for joining us. We apologize for delay. We've been super busy here. We've been going to events. Our media team went to the Carl Chevrolet end of the year summer nights. That was huge. Can't wait to do that again next year. We wrapped up this year with our last Corvettes and coffee. We're gonna do another one probably between April and May next year, depending on how the weather permits. So be on the lookout for that. Again, we really appreciate it. Do not forget to email me your questions at Corey at paragonperf.com. We'll be sure to answer them next time. Thanks again.